And here's our reviewer, Paul Schindler. When I was a kid, if you wanted to buy and sell things, you did it on a Monopoly board. We used to play for days on end. Eventually, it got a little dull because you always knew the prices, and eventually you got to know community chest and chance pretty well, too. Well, since greed is such a fundamental human emotion, it was only a matter of time before a trading game came to the world of personal computing. It's here. Its name is Wizard of Wall Street. This program has a great opening screen. You begin each month of trading with research and a review of your net worth. It's interesting that new research costs money, but old research reports are free. You can buy and sell, or, for the esoteric, there are puts, calls, and options. This is a real-time game with a news ticker and a stock ticker. If you don't execute your trade fast enough, prices change and you make or lose money pretty fast. If you panic, you can freeze the trading day to give yourself time to think about things. Wizard of Wall Street was written by Multisoft of San Rafael, California, and is distributed by Synapse Software. The program offers a lot of fun for $45. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Paul Schindler. The Japanese